What's up YouTube, how are you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Sony Xperia S to ice cream sandwich. So I know a whole bunch of you guys have got the Sony Xperia S and Sony themselves have started pushing out the ice cream sandwich update through the companion software but only for a very limited number of serial numbers at the moment. You can check out those serial numbers on Sony's website. Now my one wasn't included in that and if yours isn't either and you want to get the latest upgrade to ice cream sandwich onto your Sony Xperia S, just follow these instructions that I'm going to talk you through now. Now bear in mind that this is not a supported upgrade so if you're not willing to take the risk then don't do it but mine went ahead and worked completely flawlessly so it seems to be quite safe to do it. Now in order to do this you're going to need to go through a few steps and you're going to need to download some software. I will leave all of the links to all of the software down in the description box below. Now first of all you're going to need to download the Flash Tool software. You're going to need to download version 0.8.0.0 and then install it. And then you're going to need to download version 0.8.6.0 and update the version that you just installed. Once you've done that, you will have a folder on your C drive called Flash Tool. Now, once you've done that, you're going to need to download the ICS update firmware. You can download that from the links down in the description below. Now, once you've done that, you're going to have downloaded it probably in a .rar format or a .zip format. What you need to do is just expand that into its native .ftf format and then copy that to C colon backslash Flash Tool backslash firmwares on your computer. Now if, as you can see here I've already done it so I've got the LT26 update.ftf in the fl flash tool backslash firmwares folder and that is all ready to go. Make sure it's in its native FTF format and not a .zip or a .rar. Now once you've done that you need to go into the drivers folder on the flash tool install and run up the flash tool drivers install. Now when you run that it's going to give you a whole bunch of options as to what components you want to install. Make sure you tick the Sony Xperia S, also the flash mode and the fast boot drivers as well. Once you've done that hit install, I've already done mine so I don't need to do it and that will go away and install the drivers onto your laptop. Now you're going to need Windows to do this, this won't work on OS X so make sure you've got a Windows machine that you're trying to do this on. Now once you've got that up and running you need to hit the lightning button and choose the flash mode option when it asks you to. Now in there it will list the LT26 firmware update that you've got and you need to make sure on the right hand side that you've got the three wipe options ticked and also in the miscellaneous box the no final verification button ticked. Now when you've done that you need to click the OK button and then it's going to come up on the screen and say preparing files for flashing. Now once you've done that you need to actually unplug your Sony Xperia S from the computer, turn off the phone and then once you've done that you're going to need to hold down the volume button key and then turn the phone back on again. Now on the screen it tells you to hold the back button but because they're soft buttons on the Xperia S you can't do that. So it's the volume down button and also the power button. Hold them down at the same time. Now once you've done that you need to keep that pressed until the LED on the phone turns green indicating that it's in flash mode. Now I've already done mine so I can't do it again but these are just the steps that you have to go through. Once you've done that, Flash Tool will actually start flashing it automatically and make sure you let it finish to 100%. When it reaches 100%, disconnect the USB cable from the machine and then allow it to finish off what it's doing. Turn on the phone, just hold the power button for a few seconds and then you will have Ice Cream Sandwich installed on the phone, much the same as I have here. 
make sure that you leave it to turn on for quite some time because it really does take a while on its first boot. But that is literally all you need to do in order to get your phone upgraded to the latest version of ice cream sandwich on the Sony Xperia S. There we go, Android version 4.0.4 .4, and we're completely upgraded to ice cream sandwich on the Xperia S. Anyway guys, I hope you found this useful. I know a lot of you have got Xperia S's and want to get them upgraded to ice cream sandwich. The update worked flawlessly for me and it seems to be a hell of a lot better now that we've got ice cream sandwich on the Xperia S. Everything runs a lot smoother and of course we've got all those latest features that come along with that latest upgrade. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.